when you are telling people about God, when you are telling people about the Bible, you must not argue with them. Does that make any sense? Sometimes people don't want to receive what you are saying, which is their choice. Now, it is different if you are having a nice, pleasant conversation with them. That is different. But when it gets to the point where you are saying one thing, they are saying another thing, and neither person is listening to each other really, and your voices are raising, maybe some insults are being tossed around, when it gets to that point, you need to stop there. Does that make any sense? Now, a person may say, hey, is arguing a sin? I need to find the scripture, but I believe that arguing is a sin. So you must not do it. For instance, this woman contacted me a while ago and she was saying to me, hey, talk to me about your God or you need to defend your God or something like that. She was trying to bait me to argue with her because she is not willing to receive anything about God. So I was like, no. <laughs> we have to understand that there are people who receive excitement from arguing with people. We must not fall for that trap. Does that make any sense? There are some evil people out there who like chaos. So when there are people like that, what else can you do? You can't really do anything. What you can do is pray for them, but never, never, ever argue with people about God because when it comes down to it, a person is going to believe whatever they want to believe. You can't really change a person's belief by talking to them unless they are willing to receive what you are saying. So in saying that, you can really talk to anyone about God, but when they show you resistance, you have to go on your way. Does that make any sense? And there is nothing wrong with going on your way. Because what we are really concerned about is planting seeds. So even if they don't receive what you are saying at that moment, what you have said to them, whether they agree with it or not, that is a seed within them. So that seed can grow and they may search out for some more information about God or it may die. So really take heed to that because it makes no sense for you to argue with anyone. God does not need us to defend him. We are just called to tell people about God. That's it. When it comes down to fighting and arguing, no. We are not called to fight and argue with people. I know that many of you, you want to defend your faith and all this other stuff. No, don't waste your time. There are some people who are going to be willing to hear you out because they may be suffering right now and they want to find a way out. So focus more of your attention on people who want to change and just plant seeds with other people who may be undecided. Really take heed to this. God bless.